Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my five top tips on my hashtag strategies on how I grew my Instagram and how I want you to grow your Instagram and be balling, you know. These are my top tips. There are five top tips. If you know you are thinking about growing your Instagram or you are in the process of growing it and you still need these tips, you still need tips on how to grow and fastest way to grow actually because if you continue using good hashtags you would not even need to post as consistently as you were supposed to post because your hashtags would not work for you now a little backstory i started using hashtags majorly this year and since i started using hashtags i found out that my hashtag game has been top i even came up my own hashtags between january i between january and now i've grown grown over 25k new followers on instagram and it's through my hashtags i barely post it's a reason i stay posting frequently but i barely post but because of the kind of hashtags i use they keep generating engagements on my page followers and customers i am here to teach you guys those tips just make sure you watch till the end of the video number one is search out the most important hashtags in your niche now you have to take say 10 15 minutes in one day sit down take your phone go to your hashtags in your niche say you're into gaming or photography or online clothing you go and search out hashtags on that particular niche find out the hashtags make up make sure you search them and write them down because these hashtags are what will be your foundation for your hashtag game number two do not use super popular hashtags now i know most times those who will write maybe say someone like me now those who are write hashtag covid hashtag plus size hashtag um, instagram hashtag explore page now i didn't even check to see the amount of posts these people get in a day so the chances of your own post getting noticed or even ranking in that particular hashtag is very slim now look for hashtags categorize all the hashtags you find between start from the ones that have a million to five hundred thousand posts categorize them in one side and the other side is 500 to say fifty thousand posts on that hashtag now if you do that it's easy for you to know which hashtags to rank for and all we're looking for now is to rank in hashtags so your post keeps doing well you still keep getting engagements even when you do not post even when you are sleeping you expect like now nah, i wake up i'm going to put inside pictures here i wake up to all this type of all this type of um um notifications every day and even more and it has helped me because now i don't have to struggle to post or even engage too much people because i know my hashtags are doing the job for me okay i, I just come and check okay which post is doing better what which hashtags was bringing all this instagram do not show you what hashtags bring your engagement okay but you already know that okay this post did well because of this set of hashtags number three would be make sure that you use the 30 hashtags you are given by instagram on your post each of your posts make sure you use the 30 hashtags because we are always so quick to use 10 5 and then we are gone but and then we will not expect to see results we can't see results because instagram gave you 30 for a reason it's just the same way youtube gave you 50, um, 500 characters you have to use all of them for them to know that this is really important this is really in this particular niche now they're going to put push your post to this particular niche okay so you guys make sure that you use the 30 okay or at least at most use 20 20 and above number four don't use irrelevant hashtags say i'm posting something about this outfit now no i won't go and start posting hashtag sexy girl hashtag thick thighs matter because this is the picture this is the picture so if i'm going to post hashtags on this particular post right now it would be hashtag covey stores hashtag covey ocd hashtag and then you have to check for relevant hashtags because if you don't check for relevant hashtags it's very difficult you're going to use hashtags that you might never ever rank for or even if you rank for them you won't even get what you are looking for you won't get engagement you won't get followers and that's what we are looking for okay now make sure you use relevant hashtags that you know that they keep posting every day so you can rank for that you don't expect to use this hashtag once and then expect to just blow all of a sudden you have to consistently keep using them make sure you do not repeat the same hashtags on every of your posts Covey fashion would if you use Covey fashion in the first post second post third post instagram will think it's a spam it's a spam um, or, or an automated hashtag 
skim or something so you have to mix your hashtags together so that way instagram will know that this person is active and knows what he or she is doing number six make multiple sets 30 sets like 30 is one set make multiple sets of hashtags that you'll be using on all your posts like me that i have 10 different sets of hashtags i use on my posts Lastly, I know some of you ask, oh, really, why do you say we shouldn't use popular hashtags on our post? Is it not the more people, the more recognition or the more engagement we get? Yeah, it is. But one, the chance, chances of you ranking in that hashtag is very slim because let's face it, you don't have the highest followers there. Okay, so you have to look for, for hashtags that your amount of followers would match or almost match that you know that, okay, you would get enough engagement from it. And two, you do not want to mess with ghost followers. Now, ghost followers are mostly on these very big hashtags because they feel like they just swamp your account and then you feel like these are all followers. But at the end of the day, they find out they are not followers. I made that mistake. It's costing me a lot. And I, I'm even planning on, on um, filtering my account because I feel like I have a whole lot of ghost followers. So that is not helpful. And not that whole much, but I feel like the ones that are there, I still want to get rid of them because I want active followers. I want to know that I have active followers, okay? So that was a mistake I made that time, and I don't want you to make that mistake. So make sure that you do not use popular hashtags so you do not get ghost followers, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video to the end.